Hello and welcome, this is Ali Nasser. I am SolidWorks Certified Expert. And in this video, I am going to explain how to create these corners or, or uh, edge flanges in SolidWorks. Actually, these types of uh, edge flanges, corner joints, are used for uh, reduce uh, need for welding. Uh, and also uh, it's uh, behind the scene or customer cannot see the joint in the side view not in direct view uh, so let's uh, jump in SolidWorks and um, see how to create this step by step firstly we need to go to top plane uh, let's make rectangle with dimensions like 150 like this and go to sheet metal base flange let's assume thickness 1 millimeter okay then we need to make first flange from this side here I'm going to edge flange. Make your edge flange uh, outer or bend outside. Let's assume it is dimensions 50 millimeters and it's okay. Then we need to make this flange. We can go to edge flange and create something like this and edit your flange I need to make the miter edge from here make it construction line and assume the angle 50 degree or 45 as you wish and then let's edit this sketch I will make something like this assume this and this barrel make it 0.1 then trim unneeded lines also let's assume these dimensions from here to here 50 millimeter that's okay return to edge flange back again and edit flange sorry back <laughs> let's make another edge flange here and edit the second edge flange or the second edge actually and we need to create again a line with our angle something like this and uh, the same angle 15 degree we need to edit or miter this edge to make it like this something like this and then make this point horizontal with this and make this line parallel to this again 0.5 from here 0.1 okay We need to make this point with this point horizontal and from here to here 50.2 let's extend this line 
to this. Turn unneeded lines here and here. That's all. Let's back again. This is like this side, and that's all here. Again, we need to make edge flange from top side to make it like this. So I need to go to edge flange. From edge flange, we let's select this edge. We need to make, as we said, like this upper edge. So uh, make it ed edit and uh, let's select this point uh, horizontal with this point from your keyboard just select uh, shift again we need to make angle from this side make it horizontal line uh, construction line sorry I need to make the angle assume 45 okay I need to select line here and make parallel like this let's assume here to here 0.1 and this distance assume 6 millimeter then we need to train unneeded lines this one is there okay back to your edge flange and again select this edge then edit we need to create again angle line here make construction and uh, select angle 45 okay I need to turn unneeded lines make a line here then select this moment or make this uh, parallel okay 0.1 same like the first stage then trim unneeded lines here and here this one assume six millimeters same that's all here let's finish I make the other edge then we need to make another one like this this is very simple. Go to edge flange, just select this one, and assume your dimensions. That's all. That's all. Let's see the flatten view. This is a flatten view. As I mentioned in first, um, these join or corners eliminate a need for uh, welding. So um, you can also create the join by using surface and then um, convert sheet metal. How to do this? Let's let's again go to top layer and um, make something like this. We can make it. Um, SolidWorks uh, features normally one millimeter then I need to go to this plane sorry this plane here create sketch just make profile like this I will make a sweep uh, actually so assume the dimensions let's assume the same dimensions from here to here 50 millimeter also this is 50 millimeter 
Okay, this is my profile. Let's create our uh, pass. Our pass will be like this. Also, you can select edges directly, but no problem. Again, go to here we can select uh, surface, no problem. Go to surface, swept, this profile, and this is our pulse. Select OK. Here, our pass. And I can make something. Let's convert this to features. Second, one millimeter, and merge with this body. Can, we can make a profile firstly from like this, but no problem. And uh, now let's make uh, a split lines. Here, we can split this line without dimensions, no problem. Here, edit. Make it from this point. Horizontal, the same, or uh, cannot. So let's assume the images here to here, 50. That's okay. I can go to split line and select this, also this. Okay. I have something like this. And uh, again, here I can make line to here to here ok then go to split line again select your surface or your face now we have multi faces like this then go to sheet metal create convert to sheet metal select this base line and um, we need to uh, select the edge flanges. This is edge flange actually will be better if select this flange and then one. Then the next one here. Assume the change this to one millimeter. Okay. Again, select this one. Also select this one. Oh no, this edge. Yes, and this edge. Also this edge. That's all. <laughs> I make the same corner joint with two methods. This first method directly using sheet metals and second method uh, using surface and uh, hyper modeling to create something like this and this is same you can flatten and see the results here also the, the same result and that's all in our video i hope this video is useful for you my regards Ali Nasser.